Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to quickly set up and start using a DJI Osmo. And by the end of this video, I'll also share a few quick tips on how to use an Osmo other than the conventional stabilized video recording. back I posted this mannequin challenge video which I shot in my friend's wedding and I got a very good response over on social media regarding that and I even posted uh, in a tweet mentioning that it was shot using a DJI Osmo and uh, it was an obvious choice for me to go with DJI Osmo because I didn't want it to use a, a very bulky SLR or probably even uh, my Panasonic GH4 for that or I didn't want it to compromise on the quality by shooting it in a mobile phone so DJI Osmo was my obvious choice uh, I picked up the DJI Osmo from my rental partner, Book My Events, and it's probably very uh, common for anyone who is picking up a DJI Osmo to get carried away the moment you open the box and you just realize that you don't know how to get started using it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five step guide on how to easily set up a DJI Osmo to start recording your first video using it. Step number one here would be to check to make sure that your battery is fully charged and it's ready for use which is indicated by this green light on the charger. The second step, make sure that you have installed the DJI Go app on your mobile phones. It's available for both Android and iOS. And make sure that you have connected your DJI Osmo to the mobile app by means of Wi-Fi. And by default, the password is 1234, 1234 to get connected to the DJI Osmo. Step number three is to make sure that you have unlocked your DJI Osmo on all the three axes. Step number four, which is quite obvious, which is powering on your DJI Osmo. And if everything is going fine, it's indicated by the green light blinking right next to your power button. Now, the most important step, which is the step number five. Here, I'll quickly guide you about the different switches and also the modes of operation of the trigger button in the DJI Osmo. In the front of the DJI Osmo, you can find three main controls. One is a shutter release button, one is a record button and the third one being the joystick. The joystick is primarily used for controlling the direction of the Osmo which is up, down or left, right while you are recording a video. The shutter button is mainly used to trigger a photo when you are using the DJI Osmo. And there is a dedicated record button which can be used to trigger a video recording on or off on the DJI Osmo. Moving over to the front, uh, there is a dedicated trigger button which can be used to configure the Osmo in different modes. Pressing and holding it once will lock the DJI Osmo on a given axis. Clicking the trigger twice will make sure that the DJI Osmo camera is reset and is facing front. Clicking the trigger button thrice which will make sure that the DJI Osmo camera rotates by 180 degree and it is now available in the selfie mode. That's it, you are ready to use your DJ Osmo for your first recording. In the beginning of the video, I told you that I'll give you a few quick tips on how to use a DJ Osmo other than the conventional video recording. So one of the very cool applications of a DJ Osmo is for vlogging and being a stabilized system, DJ Osmo uh, becomes one of the most useful and a very versatile tool for all the vloggers who either use it during their travel or for their day-to-day -day vlogging purpose. Here is a quick video that I did a few days back uh, demonstrating the vlogging capabilities of a DJ Osmo. One of the biggest advantages of using the Osmo as a vlogging setup is that you can see that the footage is very stable and unlike the conventional vlogging setup wherein you are using a DSLR or a compact camera, uh, you don't see much of a shaky movement when you are walking along with the camera. Uh, you can rotate the camera by triggering the button thrice and it rotates the camera by 180 degrees. In the photo mode, the DJ Osmo is really fantastic and I was really surprised by the outcome when I saw the images on a big screen. And one really cool application where you can use a DJ Osmo is to shoot panos. So unlike your conventional way of using a mobile phones to capture a 180 degree panorama or probably even using your bulky DSLR on a tripod to shoot a uh, panorama, a DJ Osmo being a stabilized system makes it very easy to take a 180 degree or a 360 degree panorama just by the click of a button. In 
panorama is as simple as selecting the particular mode on your DJI Go app and clicking the shutter button to make sure that you get your 180 degree or 360 degree panoramas. The DJI Osmo also gives you an option to shoot a Photosphere style 360 degree photos using the app which is available for both Android and iOS. Hope you like the video and you'll start using the DJI Osmo in a more fun and creative ways.